Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Tom and this is Tom's Toys 95 and welcome to a week in the life of a part-time eBay reseller. So in these videos I like to show you exactly what I buy, how much I'm going to list it for and then I go over anything that I sold. I'll tell you how much I paid for it, where I got it from and how much it sold for and then at the end of the video we'll do a roundup and I'll go over all of the results. Now this week it's looking like it's going to be quite a quiet one and the reason for that is because I document my sales from Saturday morning through to Friday evening and that gives me the week to sell all the items and I have the weekend then to discuss all of the pickups on Monday morning. Now it's actually Tuesday evening and the reason I'm recording this late is just because I haven't really had any sales. So the last couple of weeks we've had a 30 item week and I've had a 22 item week so I've sold 52 things in two weeks and then I've sold two things over four days so make it make sense but it is what it is. So yeah I haven't really got much to show off but we've got two items to go over nonetheless so I'm going to go pick those now and then I'll come back to you and discuss. So at first then we've got Pokemon Heart Gold on the Nintendo DS so I sold this last week for $67.25 plus postage and that's exactly what I sold this one for this week. This one is slightly worse condition on the sticker there's a slight little mark on it whereas last week's one was perfect um, but I had two copies of these for sale. I don't want to go into it too much because I mentioned it in last week's video so I don't want to bore anyone but I picked up a bunch of these from Cash Generator last year and it was $119.99 for six loose cartridges. These were the more expensive ones. These were priced at $39.99 each and I picked up four more that I believe were $19.99 each and I managed to get a deal for £120 instead of $140. So I've got the other four listed and these two now have both sold. So really good profit on that. So pretty much after fees I'll get about £60 and I paid £120 for six games and I've sold two of them alone for £120 so those other four games now are pretty much a pure profit so I'm really happy with that now those are all listed at £19.99 each so after fees we're looking at about £50-60 pound profit on the whole bundle so happy with that those have been sat in my drawer for a while as I mentioned in last week's video as well I'm gonna was planning on keeping them as investments and in the end I just decided to sell them because they're not really going up in price that much and I just sat in my drawer it's dead money so I decided to give it a list and as a you know as a reward of that I've made 120 pounds in two weeks so happy with that and there's one more sale which is just down here and that is this Bowser figure now I picked this up from the car boot for 15 pounds so it's not going to owe me a great deal of profit but I sold this for 25 plus postage I believe and this is a Super Mario Bros movie Bowser figure so this is a I think an 8 inch figure so these figures are really cool really high detailed and these are from Jack Pacific so yeah as I said really cool they are very expensive so this retailed about 25 to 30 pound in the shops and someone was selling it for uh, 15 brand new in the box I think they wanted 20 and I offered 15 so they took that but the only issue with that obviously sold it for 25 there's not a great deal of profit in it but for me that was a, an item that I really wanted to pick up that's something that I enjoy is a video game related item so I saw that and rather than see the profit I saw how cool the item was so still a bit of profit in it but only about a five or maybe six quid after fees but I have got a nice box that fits it just perfectly so that'll be going in the post tomorrow and that is it that's the only two sales I've got we're now on Tuesday so I've only got Wednesday, Thursday and Friday left to discuss the sales with you guys. So as I mentioned, I made 30 sales a couple of weeks ago. There's no way I'm making 28 sales in the next three days. So in four days, I've only sold two things. So it's been really poor, but let's hope the rest of the week picks up. Um, however, I've got some exciting games to go through that I went to CX today and I'm going to show you everything that I picked up from there. So I'll come back to you in a moment when I've rounded all those up. In terms of listings, I think I've maybe had a poor weekend because I haven't really been listing that much. It's surprising because it's the end of the month, people usually get paid. So maybe the next couple of days will be, will be busy for me as people start getting their paychecks. Um, but yeah, really poor sales weekend. So then let's go through the CEX pickup. So I popped in on my lunch break and I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I picked up eight games. There's nine items, but eight games. And then I picked up another item. So there's 10 things in total, but there's like nine gaming related items and one, one's a bit random. Um, so actually I'll go with the random one first. So this one's already on my eBay store. I literally bought this and listed it on my lunch break. So. Uh, I'm a Man United fan so that's why it caught my eye and it was only £6 and this was just sat in the window at CEX and it was a Bluetooth speaker so as you open this up there's a nice little um, like suede pouch with the Man United badge on it and you take that out you've got the charging cable in there and it essentially is just a cheap tacky like Chinese uh, Bluetooth speaker it's not that great I did test it out it is quite loud but it's not the best quality 
Uh, however, it does have the Man United logo on there. And as I said, the pouch has got the badge on and it's got it on the box as well. A bit damaged, but um, I looked and similar ones, there's weirdly enough, there's a few different like types of these. Um, there's a few similar ones that are listed for £30. So I've listed mine for 30 like with postage, so it's about £26 something plus postage. So fingers crossed that sells soon, but I'll probably go down to about 20 on it and hopefully that'll sell. But £6 for that, so um, hopefully about £20 profit and then take fees off, probably get about 15 quid. Um, next we've got a stack of games, so we've got one or two that might be for the collection and the rest I'm thinking of reselling. So I'll, I'll save that one to last because that's probably the best one. Um, this one is such a random pickup. Um, I think I've heard of the game name, but I've not seen the cover for it. And this is Big Mother Truckers 2 on the PS2. So as you can see, it caught my eye and I just thought it was a really random game. I did have the Playboy game once on the PS2 and I kind of regret selling it just because it's such a random game. Um, but I picked that up for a pound, I think, and sold that for like 13, 14 quid. And I know that's gone up slightly since. So it's going to be hard for me to track that one down again. Um, cheap but um, I sold that one so I might sell this one it's not worth a big deal I think this was £3.50 or £2.50 in CX so um, not a great deal of profit in it I think it only sells for like £7 but I thought of adding this one to the collection just because it was so random um, the only good thing is, is it comes with two manuals now I can't really sell this manual for much money probably like £2 plus postage but it'll go in like an envelope so it's £2 for nothing essentially so I can sell the game for like 7 maybe and then that will go for about two quid. Then this is another one for the collection. So I spotted this as I was about to join the queue and this is a Dragon Age 2, but this is the Bioware Signature Edition. Now there's no different disc, which I'm convinced there probably should be, but it comes with the Signature Edition guide. And then there's a leaflet promoting Dead Space 2. There's no DLC code. So either the code is meant to be included and someone's used it and binned it or it was all on disc and they're giving me the wrong disc but I, I don't think there was a second one on the shelf so I don't know and it was priced at £4 which is the same as the standard copy so it might be someone's traded this in and they've realised that it doesn't have that disc I'm not sure but let me know in the comments if anyone owns this game and whether it has a DLC code or whether it's all on disc let me know please um, that'd be great but that's going to go in my collection as a variant cover so I already have this game but I don't have this nice shiny cover so it's like a 3D embossed dragon on there so that's really cool um, next then so this one is a seller and this is vikings wolves of midgard so this is by calypso games and i've not played this game myself but it was only five pound it sells for around about 10 but it sells for 10 just on its own it comes with a big giant poster and you've also got some like dlc in there as well so that is nice and complete now these as i said sell for between 10 and 12 pounds without the poster someone selling the poster and the game for 20 quid i was going to sell the game for a tenner and maybe list the poster for like eight to ten pound but i think i'm just going to undercut that person selling it at 20. so i'm going to list mine for around about 18 19 pounds um so that's a fiver into 19 quid can't really argue the next one was a cool pickup so i've never seen cex do this before uh, usually you get games that will you'll pre-order the game and it'll come with a free steelbook case and then you get the plastic case as well as the steelbook case. But very rarely do people trade both in. They might trade the game in but keep the steelbook or vice versa. So I don't really know. Um, I don't really see it in CEX in a case of you go in, you buy the game and they give you the steelbook as a bonus. Um, but on the shelf, they're elasticated together and it was £12 for Modern Warfare 2. But it also came with the steelbook and it had an elastic band around it. So both of these were £12, which is fantastic because this game sells for around about £15 at the moment on eBay. So I've listed this game separate. So that's going to go for around 15 and this unfortunately it doesn't hold as much value as i thought or i know when this game first came out this was quite a sought after steelbook but they're obviously very common so these are listed brand new for 10 pounds so i'm going to undercut and list it oh, sorry i'm going to undercut and list that for about um nine pound i think so i'm going to try and get nine for that um the last three then so one of them i'm definitely going to sell and i was going to keep this for the collection but i'm going to sell it and i don't have any interest in playing the game and that is tom clancy's a division this was only two quid and it's probably only worth about two quid but it come with this 3d lenticular sleeve and i do like my slippies and steelbooks 
However, um, I looked on eBay and this 3D sleeve doesn't really seem to exist. Um, I looked on sold, I looked on current listings and no one's really got one. So I thought I would give it a go and try and sell that for a higher price. So I'm going to list this for around about £12 plus postage. If it doesn't sell, I'll add it to the collection. It's only two quid. And then the next two, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to go on a subset of PSVR games or whether I'm just going to sell them. But I noticed a lot of the PSVR games in CEX are sold relatively cheaply. But on eBay, you can nearly always get double the money unless it's like a really common one like Astro Bar or something. So these two were not obscure um, the one is but this one is quite a popular one this is Robinson the journey I've seen this advertised before but I've never actually played it so I might keep these I don't know if I'm gonna play them because I've got the VR2 and going back to the VR1 I'd imagine is pretty horrible so um, I will see about that but um yeah Robinson the journey I believe this has like flying aspects to it I remember seeing on the trailer you can fly with like a pterodactyl or dinosaurs or some crap like that so it looks quite interesting to me so I might give that a play at some point um, and add it to the collection who knows but if i was to sell this it's worth about 10 11 pounds and then this one here this is the wizards and this is also the wizards enhanced edition there's no bonus stuff in there just the disc and that was five pounds as well this one goes again for around about 11 to 12 pounds on ebay so i may sell this one i don't know i think i'm going to keep the vr games for now and then sell the rest and then essentially the profit i make on the bundle will pay for those vr games anyway um, the last pickup was really cool and it's really good condition with an asterisk. So I saw this in the window and this is Super Mario Advance on the Game Boy Advance and it comes with Super Mario Bros 2 and Super Mario Bros. And I really like this version of the game. Uh, it's got the two NES games on the back. Uh, sorry, on the back it says it comes with two classic NES games, which is pretty cool. And inside I asked to see condition and in the window it looked mint. So I asked to see condition. They got it all out. They showed me everything, so we've got the manual, as you can see, perfect condition there. We've also got some paperwork, so we've got the Game Boy Advance promotional, like, fold-out poster leaflet thing. We've got the Game Boy Advance, like, black, uh, I guess you'd call it, what, the, like, guarantee and stuff like that, and just how the console works. And then, you've got the game and the baggy, so it even comes with a little plastic bag, which is cool, and you've got the cardboard insert, and then you've got this beautiful box really good condition perfect and then as she was putting it all back together and i'd agreed to buy it when i saw all the inserts with it i looked at this and yeah it's not looking good is it um i don't know if that's like rot mold i don't know bookworm who knows if someone in the comments uh can let me know i'd imagine it's quite common with all these cardboard games but it's pretty icky to look at so I'm either going to chase down a new box and keep it, or I'm just going to sell it as is on eBay. If it was in better condition, I would keep it if it didn't have all those spots inside, but I don't know with age if that's going to get any worse. So I'd rather sell it while I can before it gets worse. Um, but the actual like insides are perfect, the cardboard bit's perfect, it comes with a bag, like everything about it is great, except the inside of the box, but the outside is looking nice. So someone might want that and put it in a protective sleeve. Maybe there's something you can do to reduce it happening uh, any further. I don't know, but that kind of is damaged and irre irreparable, really. So that's a bit of a shame. That was £25, and it was selling on eBay cheapest for around about 30 And that's without all of the like um, paraphernalia that comes with it. It did come with the manual and the insert and everything, but it didn't come with all the like bonus leaflets, so um, all the bag. So... I was like, okay, 25, I could easily get 35 to 40 for this uh, in this condition until I saw that bit of damage. Um, but I was going to add this to the collection, but that's kind of put me off it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to leave that um, and dwell on it. But um, I'm going to list it, I think, and just see. I might list it for 40 quid and see if it sells, and then I can always reduce it. Um, if it doesn't sell, I'm happy to add it to the collection. I just don't really like that, um, that like, mould spot on it, whatever you call it, ageing. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go and get all those listed now, and um, that's pretty much everything, really. Um, there's not really too much else to go over. As I said, there's only three days left to discuss sales, and we've only sold two things. Uh, one thing that has annoyed me is someone bought a watch strap last week. They said they bought the wrong size, so I was like, okay, no problem. They sent it back. They bought another watch strap at the same time as they returned it, and now they've returned the second watch strap under the premise of they just don't like it. So... I've wasted two lots of postage sending it to that buyer now, so a bit fed up, but it is what it is. I don't think he's going to buy a third, but it's just just really annoying because, like, 
yes, I'm a business, but I'm not a big business. I'm just a small timer trying to make a bit of extra money. And he's just bought things willy nilly, didn't want them and sent them back. So it is what it is, I guess. That's the cons of selling on eBay, I suppose. Anyway, that's that. And I'll catch up with you later in the episode. Good morning guys, it's now Thursday, I've sold one more thing since last night so I'm just going to grab it now and that is the PS4 game. I've done two days of running now and I'm absolutely shattered. My legs are starting to hurt, they were fine yesterday but this morning I came down the stairs after my shower and I could feel the thigh burn so I need to do a bit more stretching and hopefully uh, I can keep it up for the rest of the month. But the game in question is in this box and it is The Last of Us Part 2 on the PS4 and it's just here. So I believe this is sold for $14.95, I could be wrong, I'll put the price on screen. This was from Game and this cost me $8.99, I think it was $17.99 and it's 50% off. Hey guys, sorry I've been a bit absent this week in this video, there's not really too much been going on. As I said earlier in the video, there's not really been many sales. Uh, it's now Friday morning and I've been really busy, so I've been doing these charity runs as I mentioned in last week's video. So I'm running 62 miles in October. Uh, two miles every day for 31 days for Birmingham Children's Hospital. So I'm really enjoying the runs, but that is taking more time. Obviously, I work full time. I've got to try and find time to list and do stuff on eBay, make YouTube videos and edit videos. And now I'm doing the runs as well. So everything's really, and I've also got a house to maintain and look after. So there's a lot going on in my life at the moment. So this video is going to be quite brief. So I, I've already picked today's orders. There's a few more that I didn't have time to pick, which I'll do later on in the video. And I'll come back to before we do the roundup. Um, but yeah, I've got four items to go through, so let's go through those now. I'm not going to throw any footage on top either, I just need to get these wrapped into the post office. So I'm going to go on my run today on my lunch break because I'm busy tonight at a gig uh, and I didn't have time to go this morning. Uh, and I had to do my run late last night because I was at a networking event in the morning early on Thursday. So it's been a really, really busy week, so let's just get straight into the sales. First one is a band hoodie. So this is one of my favorite bands. They're called My Men and they are a metalcore band and I've seen them about 31 times. Now that hoodie I bought from the gig for about 40 quid and I've only sold it for £11.50. So technically it's a loss, but it's not something that I've bought for eBay or to resell. It's just one of my own personal items. Um, so I'm just happy to get some money back. It doesn't really fit anymore. It's not really my style. So happy just to pass that on. So that went for £11.50. I'm not going to put a price down on the sale because it's technically a free item because I, I already, it owes me nothing. I hadn't bought it for the business. So I'm going to say that's free and that was £11.50. The next item I paid £2 for a bunch of magazines from a car boot and I split them up. So I think I sold a bunch of 12 for around about £15 to £20. And then these ones have only gone for a fiver, but the whole bundle cost me two pound. And this is from a car boot about two years ago. Though the first set of magazines sold really quickly. This one has lingered for like two years. And these are these steam magazines. So the set of five and they've gone for a fiver. Um, so not really much profit in it at all, but I made the profit way back um, when I sold those other magazines. So that owes me nothing. So that's a fiver. And we've sold a PS4 game, sorry, PS5 game. I've not actually played this one myself, I'm not sure I will. Um, it's not really my type of game, they're quite difficult. And that is Demon Souls, so this is a remake of the PS3 game on the PS5. This was a launch title. Uh, I know it's really good and the graphics are really good, so I may give it a go at some point. I think it's on PS Plus to download. Uh, but I'm not really one for mythical creatures, monsters, spiders and all that stuff. So um, I may give it a pass I might give it a play I don't know yet um, but that sold for 25 95 this was also in the game sale and it was 50% off and I believe this one should have been 24 99 and it was 12 pound 50 so I've doubled my money on that one so happy with that the only thing I did notice is the case is cracked which I didn't know when I listed it so it was already cracked I looked at the photo and zoomed in so I've messaged the buyer explained that it technically is in the photo but I also didn't put it in the description, so I do apologise, and I said that here's a tip, go to CEX, buy a cheap game, and you can replace the case. And if he still is not happy with that, then I might just offer him a partial refund um, of a couple of quid, just so he can replace that, but that's gone for 25 95 And the last item, this is an item that's already sold and been returned because it didn't fit, but what really annoys me with clothing is I'm really specific with the sizes, I put all the measurements in just to avoid a return, and people still sometimes return them. Uh, but these are a brand new pair of shorts. They are, I forgot the name of the guy, I can't see it on the label. There's a certain guy that made these shorts and I think he was a rugby player. Um, but this is called Raging Bull and these sold for £17.70 plus postage. 
and uh, sorry 17 pound 30 plus postage so it makes 20 pound in total and i paid i think it was a fiver from the charity shop it might have even been less than that but i think it was five pound they're brand new with tags and the tag actually says 50 pound on them so they are quite an expensive pair of shorts um so someone's got quite a good deal there um but yeah they have already been returned once so i probably lost a bit of money in postage on that one so i reckon it'll be 17 30 minus your fees which will be about 14 quid and then the two pound i think it would have been about two pound 50 to post because it's heavy so yeah i probably got about 11.50 so probably got about six pound profit in total so it is what it is but happy to see them gone um that's everything there's a few more sales at home which i need to grab but i just didn't have time this morning those don't need posting until monday so i'm going to go over those either this evening or tomorrow morning um, and i'll go over those in a bit more detail and then that will conclude the week unless we have any more sales tonight so a bit of a short one this week this episode not too much going on i haven't really had a chance to go anywhere to pick up any stuff um i did just recently upload a video going over a gamecube collection and a ps1 collection that i picked up 17 games some really good ones in there some really nice big hitters as well so please check that video out um i picked that up the other day uh but otherwise that's everything right guys it's now monday and it's actually into the following week but we need to discuss everything that sold on friday night i've had a pretty busy weekend as i mentioned earlier in the video i've had quite a lot going on so i just haven't really had time to record some stuff so i've sold four things now one of the four things is really frustrating because it's been in my car weirdly enough for the longest time and I finally sold it and it's not in my car i think i moved it somewhere more like safe and i've forgotten where that is so i need to find that tonight it doesn't need post until tomorrow it's bought like friday night but it doesn't need post until tuesday so i'm going to find that tonight and post that tomorrow morning but i've got three other things that sold friday so that will conclude and wrap up all the week so the first thing is this nintendo game boy cartridge so it didn't sell for very much it sold for four pound fifty plus postage this is one of my like childhood games so i'm not going to count this for very much i think i got given a game boy and a bunch of like 15 games when i was younger and um, i fished it out probably about a year or two ago and started selling some of my childhood stuff on ebay just to raise a few more funds and this is one of them so it doesn't owe me anything and that sold for four pound fifty and that is a game boy gallery five games in one so there doesn't look like anything great on there um, and it's only gone for £4.50, so it probably isn't a great game, but better than nothing. Uh, the next thing is this, uh, the item that I don't have, so that is a watch. Now, as I mentioned before, many times I bought a watch bundle. All the watches owe me about £10, and the unfortunate thing about this watch is it was one of the better ones, but it had like a really nice moth design on it. I'll put, throw some footage on screen when I eventually find it. And I sold it twice, so one went for £100 to someone in America, and as I went to post it the first time, I noticed there was a mark on the watch, which was actually like a scratch, which I hadn't put in the description. So I took a picture, sent it to the buyer, apologised, said I'm happy to give a 25% discount. And they said it's for a present, so I'd rather, you know, cancel the sale. Fine, my fault. Second time it sold, somebody, did. I didn't actually post it to them, but um, I think they wanted to cancel the order or they bought it by mistake or something. So that was annoying. And it's finally sold for a third time for only £38. Um, I listed it for 45 I think. And it's gone for 38 Someone sent an offer. So I just need to find that and get that posted. So that is slightly frustrating that it's gone for less than I thought. But I only paid a tenner for it. So it's still a good markup. So any any watch that I get over a £10 for, I'm happy with that. Uh, and then there's just two cheap sales left. So the first one are these Super Mario coasters now. I went to Morrison's just after Christmas. And they had a load of like stocking fillers. So there's like PlayStation decals little playstation cable ties there was some nintendo stickers a nintendo mouse mat and these nintendo coasters so i bought all of them they were about 90p each some of them were 70p some of them were 90p i think these ones were 90p and they should have been a fiver and they were on clearance and yeah 90 pence and that's gone for four pound 50 plus postage i do have more this one the box is ripped so i listed that as a separate listing so i think the other ones are listed for slightly more so 90p into four pound 50 can't really argue so that's nine quid on those two items there and both of them haven't cost me anything um this michael schumacher deluxe edition um promo version of f1 2020 on the xbox this was eight pound from cex and that has sold for 15 pound 90 so that comes with the um promo disc as well so you always know the promo discs have black and white discs and they do say not for resale so these do tend to be a little more sought after than the other ones um so yes that's gone for 15.90 and then that watch as i mentioned so that is all of the sales for the week uh, i'm going to go back to work i'll add up all of the fees and everything and take off all the deductions and whatever else and i'll come back to you later this evening with the full breakdown and that will wrap everything up for the week just a quick update, I did actually find the watch, which is good, so all the parcels are ready to be posted, so let's get into the results. 
Right, it's time to go over the results. I'm keeping it quite short and simple today. So we have sold 13 items this week. Not too bad. And the gross sales is £268.48, which is pretty good. Fees only £40.92. And the postage was nice and cheap at 31 30 There was no real big, bulky or heavy items this week. And the cost to buy of everything was 91 68 So a couple of expensive items. So we had the Pokemon cartridge. Uh, we got the Bowser toy was £15. And the watch was a tenner. But otherwise, everything else fairly cheap. And then the overall profit. And so net profit, I aim for £100 per week profit at least. Uh, just to make it worth my time and i got 104 pound 51 so i beat my target so that's good um and yeah we've had a consistently you know good month during september and we obviously start of october but um the week started the 28th of september so consistently throughout september we made 100 pound weeks profit every week so really happy with that um let's keep that on going into q4 so we've got october still to go um, next week is looking really good, so I'm only halfway through the week, but I've already made quite a lot of profit, so very happy with how that's going so far. So just need to get back to listing when I've got more time, but otherwise things are ticking over quite nicely. Um, and yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I'm on 800 subscribers now, and I'm really trying to get to 1,000 before the end of the year. So I've got two months to get 200 subscribers. So if you are new and you are watching this video and you quite like eBay reselling or video game collecting, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next video.